Yeah, it was a tough couple of days, but it's pretty enjoyable to get all the boys back training together, and everyone's really excited for the year, so it was a, it was a pretty good time and all. Was there a bit of chat about um, 2016 goals? Oh, of course there was, but it was just more uh, a point was made of stepping up and putting the work in now, so when it does come to playing games in a couple of weeks, we'll, uh, we'll be ready. What are some of the things that were talked about today? Uh, just being super competitive in uh, everything we do. So whether we're training or just playing random games, going out there and winning, and hopefully that can translate into the game. But, um, Bernie, I think, also talked about adaptability and um, expecting the unexpected sort of thing. Did he throw that sort of stuff at you at Threadbow, like climbing up Kosciuszko and the scavenger hunt style? Yeah, definitely. It was a bit of uh, having to adapt to what we were doing. There was. Uh, that scavenger hunt sort of amazing race style thing where we had to think on our feet and do all that and then obviously uh, climbing the mountain after that was uh, another challenge so we just all had to buy in and do it so it was good. Did, he, did you guys know you were going to be climbing the mountain or did he drop that on you quite late? Uh, he did tell us we were doing an activity so I think most of the boys just assumed because we didn't climb all the way up there on the amazing race. So. <laughs> Also, so you had to carry that um, the banner up. Like, well, talk us through the climb up. Was there uh, rules around what you had to do? Did you have to stick together? That sort of thing. It was uh, we were in, split up into groups, and every group had to have a turn of being at the front and setting the pace. But it was just a matter of everyone sticking together and getting to the top as a team. Were there any standouts in the in the amazing race or in the scavenger hunt? Oh no, I think everyone did their little bit to compete. It was, it was good fun. Mate, looking um, ahead to the season. What goals have you kind of set? You kind of came in last year and established yourself there. Is it now to try and get that starting spot or? Uh, it's just a matter of being ready for my opportunities when they come, as cliche as that is. It's just uh, such a good team and a particularly good back line. So it's just wherever I can fit in and I'll do my role the best that I can and hopefully uh, play well when I do get opportunities. Where, where do you fit in? Like, have you, have you settled on a position that you like the most yet? Uh, well, mainly been training on the wing, yep. just because we're slightly thin there with Henry going to sevens during the year. So it's just a, a matter of either Lousy, Nigel or myself stepping up into that role that uh, Henry will leave. That does open up, open up an opportunity, doesn't it, with Henry taking on the Olympics. Um, there is a chance there for someone to step up in a back line that is full of internationals, I guess. Yeah, definitely. It's just a matter of getting your opportunities in the trials and performing, and that's all you can do, really. I've um, talked to a lot of guys in the past about what it's like being the only non-Wallaby in the back line, so to speak. I guess with Robbie there, he could be the only non-international. But how do you feel about that? Does it just add a bit of extra motivation because that's the level that you want to get to? or? Uh, not really. I think it's just uh, it definitely helps you as a player because you can see where they're at and what you can improve on to get to the level they're at. But just as a player as well, it makes you better playing with better players. So. Um, yeah, it's just being involved is good. What about the um, season, the new Super Rugby format? Have you guys spoken about that or do you even know how it works yet? Or uh, I've watched a video that <laughs> simplified it apparently. It's still pretty complex, <laughs> but no, it's, it, it doesn't really matter too much. You've just got to finish on top of your pool. That's the most important thing. So it's just a matter of winning all, as many games as we can, particularly at home and at the end of the year being, being there or thereabouts. It is a bit of an adjustment though, isn't it? Because you're not playing every Australian team twice. Yep. You're playing more New Zealand teams and I think less South African teams as well. So yep. it throws a few different things at you guys. Uh, you just It's just a matter of really preparing well and when you do face teams away, you've really got to bring your A game because you're not getting uh, the same conference games at home that you were in previous years. Obviously you haven't got long to your trial match. How are you doing that up? Oh, it's been good. Uh, the people that weren't here before Christmas are really working hard to get back up to speed and they're super athletes so they're uh, getting up to fitness very quickly and the boys that were here before the break really uh, worked very hard and now we're still really pushing coming into those first trials. Is it hard to get back into it after that Christmas break or does everyone sort of stay fairly fit? Uh, well, you don't get too long off and Snake sets a pretty tough regime for you so if you don't come back in shape then a few of the boys are struggling. So. Does it feel like it's snuck up on you a little bit? It's less than, what, the trial match is less than a month away sort of thing. It, does, does it feel like, I guess, blink and, and the season will be? Yeah, well, last year was my first experience of that. We sort of got through the first uh, block before Christmas and then all of a sudden we went over to Perth and played a trial game. So it does come around very quick, but you've just got to put as much hard work in now and hopefully reap the rewards of it later. 
But do you even know who you're playing and who you're not playing this year or not? We haven't really looked at all, just to focus on the Hurricanes in that first game and we'll go from there. Yeah, because I mean, um, is that the... I know it's a cliche as well, like, you know, the one game at a time yep. thing. Is that how it actually is, though? Well, it's got to be because it is so convoluted and everyone's all over the place. You really just need to uh, step up every week and put your best performance on the paddock. And if, um, if that's good enough, then you'll be in the right place at the end of the year.